num1 equals to 5 num or num2 equals to 14 and if I just do Plus mom two. We just run it. I'm getting the output as I'm getting the output as nineteen. Okay. So uh, similarly. We, have, we can do like how I did here minus you can do I can uh, how I did here plus you can do minus you can do uh, you can do multiplication or you can do division how you however you wish to do. you can see the output I'm getting here okay so uh, we have operators of plus minus division and mod operator yes sir so we have something called as mod operator i will teach you that mod operator let's say this is 2 5 divided by 2 what do you think how much it is Five. 2.5 2 .5. if you have to do get the remainder after division if you have to get the remainder, how much it will be? Like num1. See, if I do the division, your answer is correct. You know, but you get the C 2.5. Similarly, we have something called as mod operator, which will give you the remainder of something. If 5 is divided by 2 equally if it is not getting divided then the remainder will be 1 okay similarly if I divide 4 by 2 then the remainder will be 0 did you understand why the mod operator is used now yes sir sir that the symbol is not visible clearly okay symbol is not visible Sir, which is that symbol? The symbol, by the symbol I'll, I'll show it in a minute. It is a more operator symbol. It, you will get it uh, if you do shift and uh, if you hold shift on your keyboard and if you press 5, you will get the symbol. Called more yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got it. So, I'll give you two numbers. Just let me know the remainder for the two numbers. To see. Your num1 should be, uh, let me just remove this, you tell me the output how much it will be, num1 should be uh, 74, this should be, this should be 9, sorry 9, and you tell me what is the remainder for this one, okay. share me the screenshot also, what you will do is, first you do the multiplication of both of this okay do multiplication here multiply then do division share me the screenshot of that then do the mod of it share me the screenshot for all of this thing write on everything on the page once the document on right multiply these numbers print this data here then do for division then put in this data. Do one by one. Plus do document dot write multiplication. Document dot write division. Document dot write mod. Sir, I'm not getting the space in between. Okay. Not okay. right. Just tell me what is the output that you got for uh, multiplication? Triple six. 
you did it from calculator or you did it from the web page? Okay. From VS Code itself. Okay. Uh, that screenshot I shared you. Okay, okay that's triple six. Good one. And if you do it from the division. So like this itself, I'm getting no space in between. Let me let us make the change. See, let's say if if there is something in the variable, I can write it down here. If there is something here, I can calculate here. There is in HTML, no, we have something called as break tag. Let's say there is a paragraph inside that. If I want something to come in the next line, I can use a break tag. Similarly, here also we have something called as no, no, we have some other we have some other ways also to do that. We get into a new line. There's a lot we can do, but uh, this, this that's a different thing. Here, what you can do is you can add a break tag here in the menu, like this plus and break tag. This will come in a different way. See. Six and then we have this one line. Now you can see all the result the entire result. First thing triple six, and then we have division, and then we have the small operators remainder. You got to know how to write a uh, HTML inside uh, JavaScript. You understood this part, I should write. Yes, sir. So let's move forward to the you remember yesterday we collected the data of data of the user's data. Do you know how to collect Yes sir? We used something to collect the user's data. Data from the user as window. So let me just store this to store this in a variable. What we will do is we will build a calculator, yeah, a small calculator. So this was an inspiration from one of the one of the trainer might tell. So let me just see this. Let num let use let equals to enter I'll write this everything inside a function so that I can call it Name I have given as calc, and inside this I will just enter number and I'll take I'll do it like this can be num1 and I'll again take number two and I shall calculate this. just collect can you do this you just have to collect uh, first number from the uh, just collect two numbers from the user first number you will store it in num1 second number you will store it in num2 and you will do the addition of those two numbers can you do this sure i will try just try doing this one because this is 
Sir, I have got the answer, but not. It is not calculated. It is not calculated. I know what is the answer you thought you got, and what did you did like? Share me the share me the code screenshot. So, should I share my screen? Okay, perfect, perfect Aisha, great job, you have got a perfect answer, you have got the correct answer, I will tell you one more. You can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Now, one, you know the data types, right? Types of data. Okay. We have numbers, we have boolean values, we have strings. What kind of data is this? If you can recognize. It's okay if it's a wrong answer. Okay. What kind of data is this? String? Yes, this is string. So since this is a string, if you are combining two strings, you will get the string itself. Since this is not a number, as this is not a number, you are not getting a calculation out of it so what you need to do is first thing you need to do is you need to convert this string to the number okay we have something called that. let's say we have something called as num1 equals to end inside this form this number i just put this number and same thing I can do for num2 also. What I'm what I'm doing here is I'm just converting this num1, num1, whatever the input I'm getting here coming in, I'm just converting it to a, uh, an integer. You need to come because that's a string, but you need to convert that into an integer. Only then I can put my calculation. Now if I do document dot write. I call this C twelve plus twelve. Where is the mistake? Why it has not been calculated? So that num you should write you have wrote name. Okay, sorry. Let's try once again. See, I've got the data. You understood this part? Converting it to a number, converting it to an integer. I got it, sir. Okay. Uh, the task for you, one, one task, for you, simple task. You just need to calculate 7 plus. Okay, num1. Let me just remove this. Give the first number as 7 point just 7 and second number as 2.5 and let me know the result of it just calculate just do addition of 7 plus 2.5 and let me know programmatically what you are getting the output 72.5 yeah. yeah. no 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 <laughs> Did you convert it into a teacher? Yes, I converted. Okay, show me the show me this show me the result or share your screen. 
so no i told you javascript goes line by line right so you have wrote document dot right before converting itself you have wrote document dot right so document dot right should be last after converting you should give the result now try Got the answer as nine. What do you think? Point five. How much? Nine point five. Okay. But your answer is correct. As per your answer is correct. See in JavaScript, whenever you take and whenever you take something, so see these are all integers. But in JavaScript, whenever you get the numbers like this, point five, point three, after anything, anything after point. So that numbers are called as floating numbers. Okay. If you convert percent, it will be an integer. It will not be a floating number. So what you can do is we have something called as float. Okay. You need to convert it into a float. If it's a if it's a number without point, then you can go for percent. If it's a number with floating or point. Then you, I suggest always go for floating number. That is, you need to convert it into floating numbers. Then you can do document. Dot right. Let's try this. Sir, if we write, uh. Like yeah, integer in floating numbers, then. Then also it will work. So what I suggest, what I always suggest is, uh, better than percent, go for this floating number because let it be integer it takes, let it be a pointer, let floating numbers both it takes. So better go for floating numbers. Let's say seven. Let's say two point five. Uh, did, did I miss something again? Okay, I I think this one is wrong. Let me just check the result of it. I always refer this chat. So I always suggest Okay. Okay, I should convert it in this way. Percent. Let's do it in this way. This works. Seven point five. See, it's got the output. So this is the result for. Converting it to an integer, you can do it in this way for say int. Yeah. If you're converting it to a floating number, you can go for this for say float. Floating number. I said did you understood this part? Yes, sir. So now just do the calculation of this one. 15 point Six plus yeah plus do like seven do it seven point two fifteen point six plus seven point two and tell me the result of this twenty two point eight twenty two point eight nice let's see then I'll try to how many it was like fifteen point six and seven point two. Fifteen point six seven point two. Awesome. 
22.5. Change the value of num1 and make it like uh, okay. I want to start a num2 num2 and I want to do it in this way. I want the value of 1, I want the value of num1 plus I want 7 to be added to it. Let's say I have this one 5. I want the num value of num1 num1 plus 7 to be added to it. How will I do this? Let me explain to you. I want the number. in num2 I want the value of num1 plus 7. Any idea? No, sir. Okay, I'll tell you anyway. See so here, one thing you can do is let num2 plus num1 num num2 equals to num1 because I want the value of num1, right? Num1 plus 7. If I now, if I just do human dot write num2, you can see the value. I have the, I've got the value of num1 and I have added 7 also. Okay. Now, what you will do is you take the value of num2, create num3 now. Create num3. Take the value of num2 and add 17 to it. So when I print this num3 it should be the addition of num2 plus 17 Sir 34 I have added number 1 number 2 plus 17 uh, You don't have to do that because you know, uh, num1 you don't have to add uh, this one num1 num2 and num3 because num2 is already I, I just want it like num two's whatever the num two's present value that plus add 17 and assign it to this one you don't have to separately add the number just take the present value of num two and so 29 let's see now I just do three. Yes. Great job, Aisha. See. There is one more option. Let's say now I have this another type of calculation. Okay. So this would be the last calculation that I'll be teaching you today. Here like it would be like let's say let I just want the value of num2 to, to be updated. Whatever the present value of num2, whatever the present value of num2, plus uh, plus uh, let's say 10. Whatever the present value of num2, plus 10. Okay, what I can do is num2 equals to num2 plus 10. Okay. Now, if I just print num2, you can see the value. Now, if I just print num2, you are getting the output as updated. You got this one? Yes, sir. So, this can also be written in this way, like this. Num2 plus equals to 10. Here also I'm telling like here also I'm telling the program same thing like whatever the present value of num plus that one and add uh, another 10 also to it. You understood this part? If you write it yes sir. Yeah, if you write it in this way also, it is same. If you write it in this way also, it is same. Okay, 
let me give you one more example now. let's say let let num 3 equals to 238 okay. 49 do it in this way I want the present value present value of num3 plus 492 let me know the updated value of num3 730 how did you do you just added here uh, this one or no sir done in vs code done in VS. okay okay let me just let me just see let's see let's see let's how much it was plus it was 492 Sir, I have shared the screenshot. Share the screenshot. Let me just check. Let okay. Great job. Great job, Isa. But uh, you know, uh, make a habit of this one. Instead of doing that, you know, num3 plus 492. You can do it in this way plus equals 492 and you will get this option yes that's it for the day any doubts any questions if you have you can ask me